we going? We're going. I'm having a great day today in my 1964 Bulls Aero Camper. Learning about it. I've had it about a month. Um, spent some time hanging out in here. It's kind of my office. Uh, I work from the, the table here. And um, I am trying to get my furnace going. Um, I think it's going well now. It took me a long time to figure out how to get the pilot to go. The little instructions are just not that correct. But um, it's a Coleman furnace. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it goes all the way up to the top of the trailer. And uh, back in behind here, there's an exhaust between the fridge and the back of the, the heater. There's a pipe that goes out and up, out the back of the heater and up and out the trailer. So um, if I get it working, I think it's going to be awesome. It has a, remember, it's 1964. It's a 1964 furnace. It has a uh, therm thermostat over here. Now the instructions said turn the thermostat down all the way. Uh, this is the thermometer and this is the thermostat. Um, seems to be right. It's about 55 degrees. So the instructions were <clears throat> here. They were screwed on right there. And I took that off. This is what we're looking at. Now, first I was wrong and I thought that the pilot light was here. But it turns out the pilot light is right there, which if you if you look at this thing for a while, you'll you'll understand it. You can see the burn mark where I I and probably people previous to me tried to light it here. But um the control is here. And you can't see it, but right where I'm touching it, I can feel it. It says ITT controls. So Coleman made the furnace, but with many of these things, you know, somebody else makes another part of it, and ITT controls made this, this control board here. And um, I better turn a light on, huh, so we can see what we're talking about. There we go. Um, anyhow... The gas comes in here, goes into the control, and then there's a big gas line that goes out there up to the burners, and the smaller gas line comes from, you can't see it, but I can feel it there, it's in, it comes from the back of the control board and follows this around, and so that is where the pilot light is actually. It's not here. It's up here. And you have to get your match or your lighter stick up in here and uh, get it to stay lit. I haven't done that successfully yet because first, I don't know if you can see that clearly, but um, that right there says pilot adjust and this screw was on top of the hole covering the actual adjuster itself so I was adjusting that but you have to take that off and behind it is the screw that actually adjusts the there you go you can see it that that's a little flathead screw that you can adjust the amount of gas that goes to the pilot light well I adjusted it and I cranked it out three times and I felt a little dumb after I figured it out but the, the I'll blame these instructions because the instructions don't tell you to press down on this to get the gas to go through to the pilot. It just says turn it full clockwise, light the pilot, turn it to on. It doesn't say depress 
to begin the flow of gas. But that's standard on so many furnaces that I am surprised. Well, I'm not. Anyway, I didn't know it right away, but uh, I was trying to get the thing lit without any gas coming out. You've got to depress this to get the gas to start flowing. So the right way to do it is turn it to pilot. And it has little, you know, clickbacks. Like if you turn it all the way to on, there's still no gas flowing. But when you turn it back now, it will hard, it'll stop at pilot. Okay, the red indicator has stopped at pilot. And I would have to push it down to turn it back to the off position. But anyway, here it is. This is the big moment. If I push it down, I can hear the gas coming from the uh, liquid propane tanks up front outside the trailer, and you can hear it. And it does ignite, but it's going to be a problem because this is leaky. This is leaky, and when I try to light it, there's flames like all around this, this whole thing. So I guess I'm going to have to disconnect this maybe replace this part and the thermocouple would be good to have a new thermocouple so what I've learned about the thermocouple is this is a it needs to heat up and when it warms up enough by the fact that the pilot light is on when this warms up enough when it heats up enough it completes a circuit that will come back down to here and tell the controller that it's okay to send gas into the main burners. That's the function of the pi that's the function of the thermocouple and the pilot. The pilot li lights lets the main burners get lit, of course. But um, y'all want to see some craziness? All right, go to pilot. Give it gas. Okay, let's do the craziness. <sighs> oh, yeah, see? Oh, that's no good. It shouldn't be all like that. Ah, stop. No problem. It's actually not as dangerous as everybody's afraid of. But uh, we don't want that. <laughs> No, no, no.